Ma'am, can I say that is one damn fine cup of coffee? What's that? It's not coffee? What is it? Whiskey? Ah, that makes more sense. Ugh. What's going on friends? Agent Logan Myers is here from Cinefellas.com to talk about the upcoming season of Twin Peaks. It's back, yes! And uh, if you're not familiar with the show, it came out in 1990, it was a massive hit in 1990 because there weren't any shows like it at the time. Other shows have tried to recreate the Twin Peaks vibe, but it didn't really work out. I mean, Twin Peaks did it the best. Um, in many, many ways, Mark Frost and David Lynch are back to pen and direct and create this world up in the Pacific Northwest. Um, it's really hard to describe. It's a quirky little town in the Pacific Northwest in Washington and all these goofy characters and it's revolved around uh, Agent Dale Cooper played by Kyle McLaughlin. Seattle is the worst. Oh yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't want that. Twin Peaks is based off uh, a cop that comes to this small town to uh, figure out who who killed this girl, a young teenage girl named Laura Palmer. The pilot episode, she washes up on shore, the uh, Pacific Ocean, and it's a murder mystery, true crime, drama, soap opera. Um, and it lasted for two seasons. The first season was excellent. Season two, David Lynch stepped out of the director's chair and it kind of went downhill and so did all the ratings and it got canceled. And fast forward 27 years, we're here for season three of Twin Peaks, May 21st on Showtime. So it's really exciting. We're huge fans of the show, the original show, because a lot of us that here at Cinefellas were alive when it was on TV. We're young but we've seen it we've binge watched it on netflix again to get back into this atmosphere into this own universe that exists within david lynch and mark frost storyline and we have a lot of other characters from the original two uh seasons we have oh log lady talking to her log and bobby and a lot of other characters but laura flynn boyle will not be returning if you <laughs> have not seen her she looks like she got punched about 100,000 times in the face. You got a bunch of surgery and, ah, let's look at it. Yikes. Well, we have a lot of uh, characters uh, returning for season three, Leland, the Log Lady, Agent Cooper, Bobby, the list goes on. And a lot of uh, new characters that are bringing into the show, a lot of them only listed for one episode, but there's like 100 actors in this season. So it's going to be crazy seeing how they're going to intertwine all these characters into this universe that is so mysterious and odd. They've released a few teaser trailers on the Showtime YouTube channel. Um, just little spoilers, just seeing Agent Cooper, shots of Bob, the, the crazy Bob, um, it, a few puzzles that you're trying to figure out. So everything about the season has been really hush-hush. A lot of the actors won't say what's going to happen, so we don't really know until May. And that's all the more reason to watch it because we don't know what's going to happen and if it's going to be another murder mystery or what what uh, kind of premise they're going to be going at. And I'm really excited to see what they do with the third season um, and seeing what David Lynch has up his sleeve with these characters and who will die and what will unravel in the story. So it's been one of my favorite shows and it's probably one of the better shows of my lifetime. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's on Netflix. You can binge watch the first two seasons before next month's premiere and get caught up and see the craziness that goes behind these characters in this small little town. And Twin Peaks always had the best dream sequences with Agent Dale Cooper, like a midget and a red hallway and just all this crazy stuff with Bob. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see if they take this, you know, this excellent part of the show and bring it into the new season. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens. One thing I did want to bring up, I picked up a Twin Peaks Funko and it's the infamous Laura Palmer wrapped up in plastic in the first season. So I'm hoping to get uh, the whole collection. I had the first one, so um, 
We're doing a new segment here on cinefellows.com where we talk about our collectibles, our collections, posters, action figures, or collectibles, whatever you want to call them. And all the things we collected here in the Cinefellows studio over the past 10 years, we're doing a little segment about things in our collections. And we want to hear from you guys. Do you guys have any collections, any collectibles, any movies or TV shows that you've collected some sort of memorabilia from? Um, so we're going to be doing that in the upcoming episodes and on our website. And last but not least, I want to announce the 100th video right here on our YouTube channel will be released this week. I can't believe we did it. Ah, yeah. We did it, 100 videos. We've been doing this for about a year now. We're gonna do something special for you guys, our followers and subscribers. So we're really excited to shoot and release that video this week, our 100th video, and we're gonna be Announcing a new brand, a new image for Cinefellas, a little throwback to our uh, childhood of the 80s. So I want to thank you guys again for watching our channel and subscribing to us. And if you have not subscribed, hit that button right there. This is Logan Meyer signing out until the 100th video. I'll see you next time. Cheese!